Hey guys, so a couple of weeks ago I got a request from a viewer to do a review on the Hamsterlopedia book and that is what I'm going to be doing today. When it comes to small pet care, I wouldn't normally recommend that people get their information from books. As great as books are, unfortunately the information very quickly becomes outdated, especially in the world of hamster care where we are constantly finding out new things, there are new studies being done, old information is being thrown out the window to be replaced for new information, and so these kind of books quickly become outdated, which is why I I usually recommend that people get their information from forums. Forums like Hamster Central and Hamster Hideout are the best places to get up to date and correct information about hamster care. But sometimes you just want to read a book, and from my own experience I have found the Hamsterlopedia to be one of the best hamster care books that you can currently buy. The version I have is the 2009 reprint. Now I don't know if there are any more recent reprints of this book, but the 2009 version is a little bit out of date. Some of the information does not apply anymore, so it's not completely 100% perfect, but like I say, it's one of the better ones. Some of the information in this book will always be useful to hamster owners. Now I've had my book for about three or four years and I still to this day reference it for certain topics and we will go into those ones in a moment. Before I go into that though, I do want to quickly talk about the authors of this book because I have actually met the authors of the Hamsterlopedia. I met them a few years ago at a hamster show during a couple of years that I was living in Wales and they are some of the nicest and most well-educated hamster owners that I have met. They They've owned hamsters for many, many decades. They've gone through all the old information and they are very up to date with the current information about hamster care. And they are also long-term ethical hamster breeders. So these are people who really know what they're talking about. One thing I love and really appreciate about this book is it's written in such a way that anybody can read it. A lot of hamster care books are written towards a younger audience because hamsters were once typically a child's pet, but it doesn't matter if you are an older hamster owner, a younger hamster owner, if you're experienced or if you're a beginner, this book suits everybody. So now let's talk about the actual contents of this book because there are a lot of chapters and a lot of information in here. So to begin with, we have section one, which is the principles of hamster keeping. And that includes the history of the hamster, and that's talking about the history of all species of domestic hamster. It includes choosing a hamster, housing your hamster, feeding your hamster, caring for your hamster, and common problems. Then we have section two, which is healthcare. And for me, this is the big selling point of the book because it's the most useful section and it's the section that will not go out of date. It's always gonna be useful to you. So this section includes the anatomy and physiology of hamsters, major body systems, and the A to Z of hamster diseases and health problems. Now, I don't think this includes all of the health problems and diseases they can get, but the majority of the most common ones are in here and this is definitely the most useful chapter in the entire book. I am always going back to this section. It is fantastic for spotting certain diseases in your hamsters and it is such an important section to read if you have this book or if you're planning on buying this book, read that section first. It is so fantastic. And finally we have section three which is breeding and showing and this includes breeding Syrian hamsters and breeding Chinese and dwarf hamsters. Now I just wanna make it very clear I do not recommend getting this book to learn things about breeding. If you really, really want to go into ethical breeding, go to Hamster Central. There are loads of wonderful ethical breeders on that website. They will teach you everything you need to know. There is a lot that goes into ethical breeding. There's so much you need to know. It's not as simple as putting two hamsters together and just letting them go at it. There's a lot of things that can go wrong when you do that. So I do not recommend buying this book for that purpose. And the final chapter is showing your hamster. And that's for people who live in countries where they have proper hamster showing. The UK and some European countries have it. Um, and showing your hamster is like showing any other animal. They get judged on their appearance, their coloring, the size of their ears and their eyes and all sorts of really detailed stuff. So if you live in a country where they do do professional showing and you're interested in taking part in it, then you can get a lot of good information from there. I used to do hamster showing during the years that we lived in Wales. It was fantastic, brilliant fun. Won a lot of prizes with my hamsters from that. So I highly recommend if you've never been to a hamster show and they're available in your country, go to one. They are fantastic fun. You won't regret it. As you can tell, there is a lot of information in this book and obviously I'm not gonna go into detail about everything in here, but I do want to brisk over section two, the healthcare section. Like I say, I think it's the most important section of this book. Um, and first of all, I wanna show you some of the diagrams in the anatomy and physiology chapter. 
So you can hear, see here they have a diagram of a hamster's skull. It's got all the information about the different parts of the skull. I think that's really fascinating. I love looking at anatomy and stuff like that. And the next page is taken up entirely by a detailed diagram of the entire hamster skeleton. If you're really interested in learning the different parts of the hamster, how they look on the inside, then good bit of information there. In the chapter on major body systems, there's this wonderful diagram of the gastrointestinal tract. Again, that's really useful information to know. It's really interesting stuff. And there are also diagrams of both the female and the male reproductive system. Again, just really interesting stuff to know. And the last chapter I want to brisk over is chapter 9, the A to Z of hamster diseases and health problems. And what makes this chapter so wonderful and so useful is it's not just giving you a list of all the potential health problems, it's giving you really detailed information about each one of them. So as an example of the information you're getting here, the very first thing on the list is abscess. And under that it gives a brief description of what that means it says here a localized collection of pus it also gives you signs and symptoms it gives you causes the most common causes um, that cause these health problems and it even gives treatment options now a lot of these pretty much just say treatments that are going to be offered by your vet but it's great to know what kind of treatment your pet is going to be getting or should be getting in order to fix these illnesses this chapter covers 28 pages in this book you can see that section i'm holding here that is all part of the a to z list so you're getting a lot of information about health problems there a lot of common ones a lot of less common ones but this for me is the most useful part of the book and it is the big reason for getting your hands on it. Before I round this video up, I just remembered that there is a section here which has loads of lovely pictures of different hamster colors and patterns. These are not all the hamster colors and they are not all the hamster patterns, but they are the most common ones and there's some good photos in there and good information to help you identify what your hamster is. So that's the kind of information you'll be getting your hands on if you buy the Hamsterlopedia. Like I say, fantastically useful book to have and one of the better hamster care books out there. Now you can buy this book on Amazon and I believe you can also buy it on eBay. You can probably find it in a few shops as well, I wouldn't be surprised. And the price range varies, but you shouldn't expect to pay more than about 15 euros for this book. It's not super expensive, but I think it's a good deal for the kind of information you get. If you're someone who already owns the Hamsterlopedia, let me know in the comments section below what your favorite part of this book is. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. You can also share this video with your friends and you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!